my golly. You are not a clean pony. But Sophie says I don't try. judge. Yeah, that's right. Don't judge her. She did her best. I'm going to do my TikTok now. All right, so storm is done. My pocket was open this whole time. I swept the farm. I swept the barn. She know be looking good. He looks good. I can't get over it. You know how sometimes, and I always say this, oops, my hair. You guys know how I always say that God makes it known to you when you're in the right place or you meet the right person or you're in the right situation. Every time my chiropractor tells me something, Laura, I think you should do this, I'm like, yes, I will do it. And the reason is, is because she, everything she tells us is like gold, with like gold. like. She's amazing. Chino's leg that was swollen because of he had cellulitis is absolutely stunning right now. He and his attitude has changed and he's got a new lease on life. Like he's moving so much better. Like this is all because, I mean, I don't know why, but we have him on a couple of supplements that our chiropractor said this is what he needs to move in at his best. And he's moving at his best other than he does need an adjustment. Sophie's over there with no control, shooting a TikTok. Oh God. This is a big giant risk for me. <laughs> big giant risk. This is Sophie taking a big giant risk. Oh, I've jumped too sick. So on today's agenda, we have some big ginormous jumps. Just joking. The girls are just doing poles because all of our jumps are outside in the rain. Not our jumps, but all the jumps for this barn are outside in the rain and why do you ask because Laura and Fiona put them there don't poop don't poop don't poop Penny don't poop don't poop don't poop he's moving close for you yeah all right let's get this party started you guys know you know how when you go to a barn and it has a sign that says if your horse poops please pick it up and then like we're like oh we always pick up our horses poop and then you and then you're walking your horse down the sidewalk or you're walking your horse down the road and it poops and you don't even notice because it just keeps pooping while you're walking and you have no idea. And then so you don't clean it up. Like cleaning up poop is an impossible job, I feel like, because when you see it, you clean it. And when you don't see it, you don't. So I think that we should make a sign for our barn that says, if you see poop, clean it. Not if your horse poops, clean it. If you see or if you see poop, if you see poop, clean it and you will be rewarded. And the reason I think you should say that is because eventually one day in heaven, you will be rewarded for doing the right thing, for being kind and for just picking up what you see. Gabby just sidles right up here next to me. I'm like squished back and I'm thinking like, okay, what the heck is she coming here for? Say thank you. Thanks. You didn't bring me my chocolate. Oh, did you bring chocolate? You have chocolate? No. Oh, <laughs> you mean I didn't buy you chocolate? <laughs> the code of teenagers. All right, move out of the way there. Let's see the little Miss Whirling Dervish over here. What? Yeah, I know. He was excited. When your horse, when your horse comes to you in the field, jealous or not, it's him saying, come on, I want to run. When your horse runs from you in the field, it's him saying, I prefer my friends. I know what you got and I don't want it. You're a lonely sailor and your soul is made of wind and rain, doubts and blame. I'm a weary pirate and my heart is made of dust and gray and spoiled champagne I've got troubles I've got sins I'm my worst enemy but I've still got a lot yeah how can you tell does it did you hear that guys did you see he doesn't buck or rear that's his thing where he bucks he just Kind of puts his head down and does like that. I think the problem is. He's due for Cairo. There, he's he's okay. He's just 
do. So sometimes, and while well, horses are building up their back muscles and their butt muscles over the course of being worked, uh, they can put anything out like their pelvis, their back, and b both of Gabby's horses actually, until they build up the right amount of muscle, their pelvis usually will get a little tiny bit sore and that's why we have, one of the reasons why we have chiropractor come every four weeks. So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come, won't you come? And say by chance, don't you want me? A man who fully understands. A sailor's heart, a sailor's heart. You're a born survivor, and you'll never find yourself in love. You're so if we were allowed to have friends right now, we could be like playing games and doing fun things. In love. I got troubles, I got sins, I'm my worst enemy. But it's still Finn's just doing his own little jumping course. So Sophie says that Finn... Finn is, Finn listens to her counting. So if she gets the striding wrong and she counts three, two, one, or one, two, three. If I count a little too early, he will try and take the long. Then he'll jump a little early. He doesn't see um, that, um, if he knows that like I counted too early, then he's like, well, mom, we're not gonna get another, like take off from here because it will be too long and I'll set my up. Up for failure. So he does what he does to be able to get the striding. Good hand, Sophie. Come, come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. He's like, oh, don't show them. Don't show them that I do this now. <laughs> uh, nobody even comes in. Like, I wasn't even in here when Sophie got on him. I was sweeping the barn. Like, what an amazing... I feel like it took Fiona's authority, though, to... Well, like, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And then... Like, we knew how to do it in theory, but she showed it. She taught it to him, and then we just continued. So I said, hey, don't you want to come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? There we go. I don't know. Got it. No, I don't know. So I said, hey, don't you want to come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? And say by chance, don't you want to meet a man who fully understands? Gabby's working a little bit on lead changes. We're also, now that Fiona's back, we're all able to send her like little clips and she can help us a little. So we probably are gonna be doing that. Here's 
a discrepancy that I just was asking the girls. So I used to feel like when you want your horse to move over or when you put your leg on that you took your heel and went like this because I'm sure Brandon taught me that. That is how you move your and horse And I asked the girls faster. and Sophie said that's how you get your horse to go faster. How do you move your horse over? With your legs. Oh, so she, she's doing the exact same thing. So Fiona told me recently that you don't use this, that you use this, your whole... Oh, not there, it's your, here. Yeah, your calf, right here. At and the that, back, not at the front. At the back. There's no calf at the front. And that you push it into the horse. And that's what I was doing on my last ride with Penny. And then I asked Gabby, like, it hurts from here all the way up into your groin and does it does that to you no, too it here. yeah oh my gosh it's the worst pain one of the reasons i love gated horses is because you don't yeah. rise on them like and it? then you don't get that awful pain of your muscles aching from going up and down but if i'm going to be using that part of my calf oh it hurts you guys this is the way we cool out our horses this is it this is the way we do it we just ride along backwards can you do it self <laughs> you almost hit it in the you know what I do for so on our next ride we're going to do something completely different we decided we're going to have a game day okay so, I never decided I never agreed to that oh well we are going to what I'm doing is I'm grabbing all the pylons and I'm making a weaving thing okay yeah are there pylons here yep we're going to next straight down. so our next lot ride we're going to have a game day and we are going to... The goal is to do it. Okay. Sophie's going to spend her entire warm-up, right? Sure. Riding Finn on the buckle and working on that so that when Fiona comes back, she can ride him on the I'm buckle and be he'll be slow. And looser. Uh, looser and looser. Not. And Gabby's just going to be just walking on her horse, standing on her horse. That's her victory. I want to slide off his butt. All right, go for it. So his butt's dirty. Yeah, don't I slide know. off his bum. Do not slide off his bum. Oh, you'll be looking so cute, Finn. You look so cute. Don't you know that you're beautiful?